What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Back at you with another one. So today, I want to talk about this Carl Anthony Towns trade. So they then traded Carl Anthony Towns for Julius Randle. Dante, uh, man, I ain't about to bust his name. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And a first round pick from Detroit, right? So, apparently the reason why they traded Towns was based on, like, contract. Because with the new collective bargaining agreement, they wasn't going to be able to afford him, Rudy, and Ant. Right? So... I guess the situation was the I guess the new collective bargaining agreement is the I it seems like it's the anti super team thing, you know what I'm saying? So they don't want, you know, no more big threes, no more Miami Heat, no more Cleveland Cavaliers, no more um Golden State Warriors. So okay, cool, boom. Now the decision they had to make was between Rudy and Carl, right? Carl or Town, Carl Anthony Towns or Rudy Gobert. They chose to, to move Carl Anthony Towns, which is, but I guess they looking at it like, I can only judge you based off your expectations, right? So, if you look at Rudy Gobert's expectations, I mean, he played to the to his expectations. He, you know what I'm saying? He rebound, he protect the rim, he do what he, you expect him to do, right? Now, Carl Anthony Towns, on the other hand, is supposed to be like, you know what I'm saying? Really, Ant just came and surpassed him. He was really supposed to be the man on the team, right? Act kind of like, oh, no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? Kind of came out of nowhere. So, <clears throat> now if you go back to last year's playoffs, right? They matched up against Dallas. Dallas really has a small forward playing power forward, right? P.J. Washington. What, he about 6'7", six, 6'8", six, something like that but he's a he's a small forward right he's about a, like Kawhi size paul george somebody like that right he's not a traditional four man now one stat that stood out was carl anthony town shot three for 22 from the three-point line in three games right and it's not the fact that he shot that bad percentage to me, it's the fact you shot 22 threes. Like, dude, get your big ass in the paint, bro. Why are you shooting threes when you have a mismatch? Like, like I know it's the three-point shooting era and all that. It's, you know, but sometimes you can be so smart, you're stupid, right? With all these analytics, Something you can overthink it. If I have a, a traditional four man, five man, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to put a three man on him. Shouldn't we throw that bitch? Didn't we throw the ball down to the post? I mean, shouldn't that be like the play every possession? We throwing it to the block. I know that <clears throat> we like pace and. We like the game to be cute, but listen, sometimes it's like you got to go football, right? If I can get four yards every rush, I'm rushing that thing all the way down the field. If I can get four to five yards every rush, I'm just going to keep rushing it and rushing it and rushing it. If I got a traditional big who has the ability to play like a traditional big. I seen him play like a traditional big before. He has it in his game. Versus a undersized power forward. That is the matchup that we're exploiting until you do something about it. I don't care. We playing off of that. You gonna have to double whatever you gonna have to do, but we playing out of that post every single time. We playing hollow. We gonna, Towns, you gonna go down to that block 
Rudy, you gonna go up, and we dropping that thing down. You either gonna go up, or you gonna go reverse side in the dunker spot. But they're gonna have to double. They double off Rudy. That's a drop pass for a, for a dunk. If they double off somewhere else, that's a three. Period. Like that's what we doing. But <clears throat> that ain't what happened. So. I feel like that's why Minnesota said, you know what? We need another person that we can count on when it matters. So I feel like that's why they made the trade. Now, I'm not really in love with, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see how the Randall gonna mesh with, you know what I'm saying, with Minnesota, but I think Carl going to the Knicks is good for the Knicks because he lo sometime right, you can't change a player, right? Once a player that been in the league so long, they are who they are, right? You can you can you can fuss and complain, he don't do this, he don't do that. At some point, the he, he is who he is. So to offset that, you lower your expectations, right? You put him on the Knicks, now he you can drop him down like third in the pecking order if you need to, because really the one two can be um Bridges and um Oh see here I go again. Can't remember these players' names. Br uh Brunson. Bridges and Brunson can be your one two punch if necessary. And Towns can be the three. Now when he wanna play basketball, he can be the, the number two option. But sometimes when he just be out there, if he the three, it's okay because you got Mikael. You know what I'm saying? So if you drop him down to that two, three ish order in the pecking order, then he good. But if he's supposed to be like that one A, one B in the pecking order, it's like, eh, you asking for too much. So I feel like it's gonna work on the Knicks. You know what I'm saying? And then the Knicks is a team that kind of do it by committee anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like they got hard. He 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 type of guy who just go get buckets, figure it out, go get ugly buckets, go get hustle points. So, you know, they kind of got that, that team that kind of you going to get a bunch of dudes that's going to get you them weird stats like 8, 6, 9, 11. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to get a lot of points by committee. They not going to be super top heavy where they got to get like 27 from two guys in order to win. You know what I'm saying? So I think they'd be good. Yeah, you know I mean. <clears throat> but I think the the move that really opened everything up for the Knicks was Brunson taking that discount. For real. Like that's what opened up them getting McHale. That's what opened up them being able to trade for Towns. Like him taking that discount really kind of helped their present. You know what I'm saying? Because everything they doing is to win now. You know what I'm saying? This is a win now move. This is not a, a you know, a three year, four year. No, this is, we trying to put all our chips to the middle of the table and see what we can do. So I like it for the Knicks. Now, the Wolves on the other hand, like, I don't know. Cause I don't, Randall, I like Randall, but then it's like, eh, I don't know if he, I think he is the same as Towns. I don't, he can't be at next up guy, right? It can't be at, and then we need Randall to be, I don't like that. I think Randall is another like two, three-ish guy. You know what I'm saying? Like he can be the second, third-ish guy on your team if you trying to win the whole thing. Now I do feel like Nas Reed played so good is why they felt like Towns was expendable. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, how he playing? Shoot, we just get Nas more minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I do like that with Nas. So if they got Nas and Randall, you still got Rudy. So <clears throat> I'm curious to see how they gonna how they gonna do the rotations. Is it gonna be Nas at the four, or is it gonna be Randall at the four? 
You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm I'm one of them dudes. I've been putting Nas at the at the four and Randall at the three, like <laughs> and at the two. You feel me? Like I like big lineups. That's just me. I you know I I go seven foot six ten six nine. You know what I'm saying? Because and only six four for real. He just played like he's six 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 seven, but he really only six four. You know what I'm saying? I've been through Randall at the three. You know what I'm saying? Like he he got the skill set. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I might have, I might even think about throwing Randall at the three sometime, even if it's just a lineup. You ain't got to, you ain't got to start it, but I might do that as a lineup based on matchups. I might throw Randall at the three sometime. So I'm curious to see how they're gonna do that. Is they gonna make Randall come off the bench? Like I'm wondering how they're gonna do these lineups with uh with Minnesota. But I mean, I think overall the trade was good for both parties. I think they needed to, you know. They need to switch it up because I don't think Randall was going to fit with the Knicks, with the new, with these new players they got. And I feel like Towns is a better spacer, like just spot up shooter to space the floor for Brunson. And him just standing out there shooting threes would be okay for the Knicks. If he on Minnesota, they need more for him, but that's cool if he on the Knicks. So I'm going to leave it at that. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all on the next one. Peace.